But what there often was in Glasgow, in George Square, was a, a very good Armed Forces Day event. And this was going on for several years, right up until 2017 when it stopped. Now, this, what this would be would be you go into George Square, there'd be all the, the armed services, they'd all have tents and they'd have little things going on to entertain the children and so on. And it was a really nice kind of event that would happen on a Saturday afternoon in the summer. And we really liked going along to it. And it was like a flag-waving event, a flag-waving event for our, um, well, for everybody who supports the armed services, and especially for us unionist people who especially support the armed services, because we we understand that many of the Scottish nationalists actually have a have a bad relationship. You know, they don't like the the armed services. So it was certainly a day for unionism, and. Then in 2017 that stopped and we were no longer having these events and we as an organisation of Force for Good we looked into that and we approached the uh, authorities, the, the British Army here in Scotland and we asked why this, the, the British Armed Forces Day was not happening anymore and we got the response that it was due to resource cutbacks from the Ministry of Defence. In other words it was a money saving so called venture to uh, no longer have this family day in George Square for the British Armed Services. And that's just so short-sighted, it's beyond belief. Because if anything, um, it was, it, it, it more than paid for itself in public relations. It was money well spent. It wasn't something that you should cut back. It was something that should be done more often. And we made that argument at the time. But this is a terrible thing about cutbacks. You know, people say we need to cut back on this, cut back on that. But what happens is you actually cut back on all the things that help to make Scotland British, such as an armed services, an armed forces day in, uh, in George Square, which was a really, really good event. So we were very sorry to see that. And our message to Boris Johnston, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, would be if you want to help uh, imp uh, increase Britishness within Scotland, then make sure that you have things like Armed Services Days, Armed Forces Days. Make sure that you have these things that people can go along to and help to celebrate not just British institutions, but Scotland's place within the United Kingdom. So on Armed Forces Day next year, we would like to see us getting back to that. Um, getting back to having a, a, a family fun day in George Square for Armed Forces Day. That's an important thing and it's huge public relations, does extremely well for the British Armed Services and it's something that can be done. It's like a physical thing that can be done. Not cut back, don't cut back on it, put more money into it and improve improve uh, the relations between, between Scots and our institutions such as the Armed Forces. So, that's the only thing I want to say about Armed Forces Day, except if you are uh, an ex-serviceman or woman or you are serving, then maximum respect to you from a force for good and from all our supporters.